Hello, my name is Michael Atkin. I'm a printmaker and this is one of my workshops. I'm very fortunate to have two workshops, but this one particularly is for doing letterpress, lino cuts and wood engravings. This is one of my printing presses, an Albion Platen from 1889 next to which is the drying rack and another one of my printing presses which is a Colombian from about 1845 another printing press in this corner is an 1869 Albion Press by Harold and Sons, a smaller platen used for printing letterpress and wood engravings. I have lots of various typefaces which I can use for creating my uh, books. work surfaces, reference books and some pictures on display. Wood engravings. Um, these are examples which have already been completed. This is called Stepping Out. Staithes. Staithes Harbour. nesting jackdaw using a bit of text here the boy who rode a pig cake church beck footbridge robin hood's bay small one hedgehog The Openings, Robin Hood's Bay. The Night Before Christmas. Lover's Lane. All Points South. Stades Harbour. And Farmer's Market. This particular print has just gone into an exhibition in America with the Wood Engravers Network, and she'll be touring from May 2020 until December 2023. This is workshop number two. This is where all the uh, messy work is done to create an etching. This is my etching press, which was built for me in 1977 by Harry Rochat in London. Uh, quite a large press in so much as it takes a full A1 sheet of paper so you can do various sizes of prints. Opposite that is the um, heater box which is used for heating the plate prior to etching. Inking slab. This is one of the plates after it's been etched. A little Adana proofing press. The paper store. A plate cutter, very useful. Um, used for cutting the large sheets of zinc or copper plates to the required size. Worktop. Nipping press. Prints in progress at the moment. And the acid bays. The bottles at the back contain various uh, solutions of acid in varying strengths. The blue one is a Dutch Morden, which is used purely for etching copper plates. And a heater box. The second of the heater boxes, this one's used for laying the grounds. And my aquatint box, which is this brown thing in the corner.
letterpress, typefaces, and my collection of antique letterpress typefaces used while creating um, books. So here we have some examples of pictures already completed. This one's called To Even Song, Beverly Minster. Feel Close Farm. These are all etchings. Oh, this is a rather large one, which is called Pheasant Hill Farm. By the junction, big decisions are made. Sea View from the Sheepfold. Miss Denton's Cat Stands Guard. Some of the etchings are actually hand coloured, as in the case of this one. And this one, which is Walking in the Wrong Direction. This particular one is from a book I've just completed, which is An Alphabet of Scarborough, and this one is called W for Windmill. Moving forward. Shortcut to Mole End Cottage. Another copy of It's a Bit of a Climb, hand coloured. A Visitor Draws Near. Conversation on a footpath. Looking for the lost quark. Oh, and a visitor draws near again. 